Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is some less than stellar news, mostly because we are here to report about the cancellation of Ray Donovan. Showtime is ending it after seven seasons on the air. There are no plans at the moment for there to be a season eight. I mean, that may very well change, but we're going to talk in this video about why this happened. It's honestly, it's stunning and also where this show could go from here. If there's any possible other outlets, networks, streaming services that could be interested, but mostly we'll get through all of our shock here together. Before we dive into it though, if you do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates. Let's just start right there and you can see a cattail in the bottom, but anyway. Uh, yeah, our, our laps are filled with pets to help us with our despair. Over this this. Is the, uh, <laughs> it's the cancellation coping mechanism, but yeah. quick reaction. What do you just think about the fact that Showtime has announced this today after seven seasons without really all that much of a proper end? Yeah, I think it is it is really shocking. It is a disservice to fans who have been on this journey for seven seasons. This is a long time. This isn't a show that's had one or two seasons and wasn't really holding on. And people are seven years deep invested in this show. This is a show, to me, that deserves a proper end. And it's... <sighs> I'm trying to like compare it to some other shows. For me, let's talk about Santa Clarita Diet. That was only around mm -hmm. for three seasons. I love that show. That show was canceled on a huge cliffhanger. But at the same time, I do recognize it was only three seasons in. So while I wanted a proper ending to something like that, that left me on a big cliffhanger, that isn't Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan has been around for seven yeah. seasons. It deserves a proper end. I think the viewers deserve to have a proper end. The network deserves or should be giving that to people. I just feel we've all invested in such a long journey with this show mm -hmm. that this is really crappy. I just think it's disrespectful if I'm just going to be honest and just throw that word out there because it's different than canceling a show that's on ABC. Because in the broadcast network, yeah, you're paying to see a lot of different shows, and maybe you're paying in part for that one show, but it's a part of a cable package. Like, you're yep. getting all these shows together, so more than likely, it doesn't feel like you have just, like, set your money on fire that ABC has canceled one of your shows. For Ray Donovan, it's on Showtime. Odds are you're probably paying for Showtime just because you like a couple movies they have mm -hmm. or you like a couple shows that they have. Like, yep. this is what I've done in the past with, you know, Game of Thrones or yep. Power or Outland or any of these other sort of things. So this kind of just represents, okay, so you know that show that you have been spending probably more than $10 a month in order to see for, for seven years. years. Yeah, <laughs> for years. We don't care anymore. We're getting rid of it. And you're just going to have to deal with the ending that you got, which is kind of inconclusive. I mean, yeah, Ray got some answers on everything with the sister's past and the family secrets and all that, but there was still a lot that was left over. There were cliffhangers. And this wasn't meant to be a series finale. No, it, it wasn't planned that way. I mean, you even have Liv Schreiber on social media encouraging people to reach out to Showtime to try to fight for the show recently. So it was clear that they wanted to keep it going. I, I don't think any of us can sit here and pretend like Ray Donovan was going to go on for another four years, but I think season eight could have been the final season. I'm, think about it this way. Showtime had Weeds. Weeds lasted for eight seasons. Yep. It might be revived, but that's a different story. Dexter, eight seasons. Homeland, ending with eight seasons. It's premiering with season eight this coming weekend. So they give shows eight seasons... Why not give Ray Donovan one more season? Is that too much to ask? Or at the very least, if they're not willing to give it like a full season, how about a smaller mini series to sort of end it off with like five episodes, six episodes? What about a movie to tie everything up? Is there no other way that you could have wrapped it up? It feels like there were probably a dozen or so other options out there. I, I know... A TV show probably costs money. You got to get the cast together. You got to get the crew. All that stuff I get. But also, just consider your subscriber base here. Because 
they're probably not going to be thrilled if Ray Donovan is ending with the movie, but guess what? They're going to be way happier than just like, oh, we're ending the show, too bad, so sad, no series finale. Yeah, and that's what I'm feeling about this as well, that it's about keeping your subscribers happy. I mean, we're in a different era now where there's like a million different things that you can subscribe to and different streaming services. Everybody and their mother has a streaming service at this point or different cable packages. There's so many different things. If you're going to bring your subscribers on this journey and then you're just gonna leave them at the finish line and be like, sorry for your luck, this is not an era to do something like that. And because there are other places that people can go where they're not gonna do that to you. And yeah. they will at the very least give you something like a movie or a wrap up or something. I feel like once you pass season six, I feel like you owe it to people to just give them a proper send off at that point. Yep. If this was Ray Donovan season two and they canceled it, I mean, it would be upsetting, but it would be like, okay, that's fine. I understand you're not not every show is going to get to season six, but you already got the season six, and, and that's where the frustration comes in. And we've even seen shows that have had a lot less seasons than this that have had a movie wrap up. Yeah, we have. I mean, Netflix did it with Sense Eight, and yeah. Sense Eight didn't even last that long. So I just I don't think there was any reason for them to do this, but in the end, it's clearly what they decided to do. It's frustrating. I don't get it. And maybe some more information will come out explaining the nuances of it. But I don't want to get just hung up on Showtime as angry as I am about Showtime. <laughs> but I think we need to think a little bit about, okay, what is there a possibility for a season eight somewhere else? Like, could someone else swoop in and be sort of the knight in shining armor for Ray Donovan? It's trouble. It's, it's difficult, right? Because there's so much like yeah, strong content in this show. Yeah, there is. And I mean, it's possible, but I just don't know. Because the other thing is, is, you know, if the ratings are not really there for Showtime to even give it a last season, then would somebody pick it up for to give it a proper end? Or they, would they pick it up then for a couple more seasons if it's already declining? I think there's a couple of things we have to rule out here almost right away because there's way too much strong language, way too much violent content yep. for Ray Donovan to be on a broadcast network. So that's not happening. I think it's too extreme even for it to be on an FX, for it to be on an AMC. I don't think it can go to basic cable either. Then you sort of look at the other options like premium cable networks, yeah. streaming services. Like you said, with the ratings being what they are, I don't think HBO is going to be interested in picking it up at this point. They got enough other good stuff that they don't really need a show like Ray Donovan. Yeah. And, you know, Netflix, as we're very familiar with, Netflix cancels about a billion shows a month at this point. And then they pick up a billion more. Yeah. I, I mean, but granted, a lot of their pickups now aren't so much even shows that are canceled. They're more like in this, yeah. oh, we're just going to do our own <laughs> thing now. And it's... It's it's an understandable emotion that I have for a lot of people now. When anything gets canceled, they automatically jump to Netflix will save my show. They don't really do it that much. Like they did it with Lucifer. Yeah, they did it with Longmire a million years ago. Yeah, like they do it occasionally, but it's not something that they do all that much. They did it with Designated Survivor, but then guess what? They canceled Designated Survivor after a season. Yeah, it's not really the place to go to save shows, but it is the place that everybody seems to think is going to save their show. Yeah, and so, I, I mean, it's probably more possible it goes there than HBO, but I wouldn't put a lot of stock in it. I I think really, because when I'm looking about it, I don't think it's the right demographic for what Stars is trying to do. I think if there is a hope for it, it might be at Amazon, because mm -hmm. Amazon's got Bosch, Yes, this is in the same sort of like realm as a Bosch or a Goliath yeah. or something like that. They do have a lot of these types of shows. So, I mean, that could be a really nice fit. Yeah, it feels like it would be a good natural fit there. I th and Jeff Bezos probably has enough money himself to get like 30 seasons of Rick Donovan off the ground. Yeah. Like, And they save the expanse. They have a reasonably recent history of sh uh, saving shows that are canceled other places. Yeah. It just mostly comes down to, do they want to? I, I think the show Ray Donovan performs well enough for it to get another season somewhere else. But beyond all that, there's probably 
complicated licensing, streaming rights, all that sort of stuff. And it gets really kind of expensive to pluck a show from one place and bring it to another. Yeah, because we kind of saw a little bit of that with Hannibal. I remember when that got canceled and yeah. everyone was really upset about it. Nice in, me. <laughs> including us. And there were some complications of, you know, being held into contracts and stuff like that yeah. for a while before before it was all released and able to move somewhere else. And unfortunately, it never did. But no. by then, it's... It's harder at that point because people have moved on. Not everybody, yeah. but some people have moved on. It just, I mean, it feels like there's there's enough of a possibility with the studio connections behind the scenes that it could go somewhere else. It's just, we're talking about a show that's seven years in and for another network to pick it up or a service, it's sort of like, oh, we'll give this show a one or two year rental to sort of close it out. Yeah, but on the other hand, I kind of wonder if a streaming service like an Amazon who is trying to build right now, like like we've said, there's a there's a sea of streaming services. Yeah. So would it then behoove them to basically steal a bunch of subscribers from yeah. them and bring them over to Amazon where they already are like, oh, well, they also have Bosch, which is right up my alley. They also have Goliath right up my alley. Or Absentia, which is kind of up that same alley. Like, it might be something. It could be. That's what I would feel the best about. But, I mean, I don't want to present too much false hope. I think it's probably done. But you never really know in this modern era where there are so many different possibilities that are out there. I'm just bummed about this because it felt like there was more story to tell. There weren't a lot of other shows out there like Ray Donovan. Yeah. And I just think it deserves an opportunity to have its last bow. I, I guess I should have seen this coming in some ways because it didn't feel like Showtime was really giving this past season like all that much love at all. Like very, very little promotion. Oh, yeah, I agree. It kind of just popped up out of nowhere again where I was like, oh, it's back on the air. Yeah. Well, okay, well, why wasn't this being pushed as yeah. much as it was? And it aired, like, kind of early in the night for primetime, too, and it, there was just a lot of weird stuff about it. But this is where we are now. Ray Donovan is canceled, and, uh, yeah, let's just hear your thoughts. We can all vent through this together. And if you do like this discussion, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and if you want to support us more, check out the link in the description to the Carter Matt store, and we'll see you here next time.